guys today I wanted to show you a quick way to create a denim texture here in Photoshop and apply that texture to your illustration it's going to be an awesome video if you like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I just wanted to add that the links for my other videos on fashion design rendering and illustration are in the description bar below if you get a chance check those out as well and now let's get into today's video so the first thing we did is we came to the file menu and open a new file the size and width are we don't have to worry about those because for this particular tutorial those are not important uh, now what we want to do we want to fill this with fill this uh, layer with a uh, with with a blue shade i'm using my paint bucket tool to fill this with a new color which is this blue color any kinds of blue it's totally up to you it doesn't matter okay now what we want to do we want to go to filter filter gallery and choose the Hafton Hafton pattern and that's this it's under sketch and you don't want to mess with these these we, we just want to keep these keep those as they are and hit OK now we are almost there it's almost done then we are gonna come to the uh, go to the filter menu again and come to noise and add noise and we are going to add a little bit of noise to that pattern I think that's about right hit OK now we have our denim texture one other thing that you can do is it, do it in a different way. I'll show you that as well. I'm just going to undo that noise very quickly. We are still here on where we use the half done pattern and we're gonna come to the filter, stylize and diffuse. So this is also another way to create that noise and denim texture and it also gives you the opportunity to change the shades. As you can see a denim tech denim has after the wash it has it has a lot of shades so you can also achieve those shades here so I think it this is also another way you can use to create the denim texture here in Photoshop so I have showed you two ways you can either add noise or you can come to the filter diffuse to create that noise and also get some shadings as well so let's say I want this darken darken uh, look and I have applied that now I want to show you one more thing that you can do to get a different kind of effect so we're gonna create a new layer hide the background layer and I'm using again B for the paint bucket tool fill that with a new color now unhide the background layer now what we want to do is change the blending mode of this layer uh, so what we, what you can do is you can just play around with the blending modes. I'm using my downward arrow key to change the blending mode from one to another. So as you can see, this can be a um, dark colored denim. So as I am changing the color color modes, we are getting different textures of denim, different colors of denim. Denim. I think I like this one too. This looks a light shade, a bleach denim. So, yeah, I think I like that one, but I just want to keep looking a little bit more. This one also looks very good, right? So, that is that is our denim texture. Now, what we want to do, we want to create a pattern out of it. So, we, we will select everything, Control A to select everything, go to Edit, Define Pattern, and call it Denim Texture, hit OK. So, that is our denim texture and now we will show you how you can use this on a flat sketch or an, on an illustration so I have opened my previous illustration that I have already showed you in my previous videos if you want to see how I did this uh, the links will be in the description bar it's a nice it's a gold sequin brush that I created in my last video you can watch that too so what we want to do we want to fill this band with our new created denim texture and for that we want to select the band so 
this is our plants we have already colored this to color to select only that area where the color is we are going to uh, click alt and click on the layer and that's going to select everything that's on that layer so that is a quick way to select what's on the layer so we have selected our layer now we, we will come up here and come to pattern I have created a few already I think this is the one this let's see denim texture yes that's the one we created just now and hit ok so this is this is a great way to work um, since we had the selection already so we didn't have to layer uh, we didn't have to clip it with the pants but you can also do that if you want I'll show you that as well so if suppose that we do not have selection and we create that pattern okay everything is filled with that pattern right now and hit ok but we want to, the pattern to uh, only be visible in the pans not the entire image so what we can do is we can clip it with the pans and that um, how we can do that is uh, pressing the alt key and come between those two layers and click so that now the denim texture is only visible where the pant is because it's clipped with the pant layer so this is another a great way to do it but you can also just select the area and just use the pattern on that particular area it's totally up to you what you like how you like to work and that is it and if you like this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more of my videos the links are in the description bar thank you very much for watching